Hey, 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 Aquas. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, June 17th to the 18th. Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aquarius, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. Also, don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this video resonates with you. I want to hear from you guys. I'm going to grab four cards here, Aquarius. And then I'm going to get a channeled message. Well, more than four cards from Spirit for you. If you guys, wow. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, information can be found in the description box below to my Etsy shop. All right, we got seven cards here. So, three of wands at the bottom of the deck. We've got two of wands. Knight of cups, four of pentacles, the queen of swords, the eight of swords, the knight of wands, and the eight of cups. All right. All right, let's get this message, Aquarius, see what's up. Be bold, Aquarius. If there's a project that you're working on or something that you're going towards, right? Even if it's, a, uh, if it's love, right? They're saying, be bold, be daring. Don't think twice, just go, just do. And they're saying from the heart, because I'm getting this pull from the heart space. Okay. Something could be at a distance for you. You could be waiting for something. I'm not sure if it's waiting for the right time because you also have the two of wands here and that talks about something in the distance, seeing your future, but knowing that you have to leave something behind, right? This is, yeah, somebody's holding back making an offer. It's either the other person is holding back from making an offer to you or you them. Somebody's all wrapped up in their head about it, right? Going round and round and round. It's, it's a prison of your own making. It's, it's going over and over and over again uh, about different scenarios, right? Not sure not sure what to do or perhaps you're going over past scenarios mercury retrogrades coming up venus is already in retrograde there's a lot of planets retrograde right now queen of swords is telling me is gemini energy well it's also aquarius but usually gemini for me as a reader you're up in your head about this connection whoever it is now with the eight of cups and the knight of wands Again, I'm feeling having to walk away from something so you can pursue something else. So let's clarify. Or this other person has to. What do you... Let's see what you're walking away from. What is Aquarius walking away from? All right. Third party situation, possibly walking away from a reunion clarify the three of cups to what Aquarius is walking away from yeah options so it's like a third party situation all right um, you're walking away from confusion you're walking away from options but you're showing up as the knight of wands if this is you or they are and the knight of wands is player energy not all the time but yeah this is clarifying the knight of wands lovers and the death card so you're really passionate about this person right you're wanting to transform perhaps you're wanting to transform this knight of wands stage or energy right the knight of wands is player energy in quick and out quicker right there's always a third energy here with the lovers card that tries to get in the way this could have been it, 
with the Three of Cups over here. The death is Scorpio. Somebody could have that in their chart, but this, this relationship ended and it's wanting to be resurrected. Somebody wants to resurrect it. Okay? Somebody wants to transform it. Queen of Swords is clarified by the Seven of Swords. Why is this here? It's the Liar, Cheater, Thief card. Ten of Cups. Aquarius, did you run away from happiness? Did you run away from emotional fulfillment? Clarify this again. Sagittarius energy. Yeah, I feel like you found it hard to embrace change. And you like snuck out on this uh, uh, emotional fulfillment, on this happiness. Right? One more card on the Seven of Swords. This is your energy, Aquarius energy. Seven of Wands. Whoever this is, you're spiritually connected with the sevens here. You were, you wanted the upper hand for some reason. I don't know. It's like, it's like you, you sabotaged, you self-sabotaged. That's what you did with the seven of, of swords. You wanted the upper hand, but you ended up screwing yourself. Don't know why you, you're not sure why you were sabotaging it. Could have been out of fear. Why are you holding back? It's like, okay, you're waiting for the universe to hand you the opportunity. You got to take the opportunity. Clarifying the Knight of Cups. Ooh, the moon card. This is something that is hidden. Well, obviously from, uh, it's either hidden from you or the other. This is the Ten of Pentacles. This is happiness, stability. Unless somebody's hiding a marriage, and that's the Seven of Swords, there's an apology somebody's going to make, or you, them. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles. I want to clarify this Ten of Pentacles here. Hmm, Waiting. Now, that's the card of Pisces. Somebody was waiting for something because you have multiple waiting cards here. Not sure what you were waiting for. Could be money. This could be, I just don't, I don't like the sneakiness there. Clarify one more time for this. Yeah, somebody was in a state of just chill, peaced out. You peace out. It's I, I, That's why I, I said I, I feel like somebody self-sabotaged this. Clarify the Two of Wands. The Ten of Wands. Leaving behind responsibility. Leaving behind a burden. To go pursue what you're passionate about. What you're really... Ooh. Three of Pentacles. Another three. There's a third party in here somewhere. You could be leaving, like I said, leaving behind a third party. Yeah. You'll be clear. You'll get clarity and truth on this, Aquarius. You will or they will. Somebody will and somebody is offering love. So what is your advice? Your advice is to get on board with destiny, whatever that is. That's what they just said. Get on board with destiny. This is the Wheel of Fortune. This is destiny. This is time. This is Jupiter. This is a, another 10, right? Tens are all about ending a karmic cycle. You could be ending a karmic cycle with somebody. Um, this is good luck and bad luck, depending on what's, you know, it's like what goes around comes around. So depending on where you fall on that spectrum... Yeah, somebody was balancing more than one person. Okay, so, ooh. Be careful with that for karma, man. Okay, you got to find your balance, Aquarius. You got to find your balance, okay? Spirit wants you to focus on 
building something. Focus on something that you're passionate about with the Eight of Pentacles here. You need to work on yourself, I'm feeling, something that you're passionate about. Or if it's this relationship, you need to work on this relationship, right? Because there's too, it's like too many people involved in this relationship. You got a lot of threes. You got the juggling. Somebody was messing around, especially things that are hidden, Okay, so get that clarity. Another seven, seven of pentacles. Whoever this is, again, you are spiritually connected to them. So figure out where you want to invest your time and energy and then go forward in that, okay? All right, Aquarius, I hope this helps. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading with me. Information can be found in the description box below. Have a good one, Aquarius. I'll talk to you tomorrow.